These two images were taken around the same time, or at the very least within about a year of each other. And besides just the fact that the quality is different, I'm sure you notice something else. The makeup, the hair, they're a little different when we look at Robin in real life versus when we look at her on TV. And I'm only bringing this up because when Robin is a topic of conversation, this always comes Now, up. I was hesitant to make this video. I do not want to create a space for us to just make fun of how these people look. But the more I thought about it, the more I gained an appreciation maybe for the fact that they are making choices. They're making choices for how they are presenting themselves on TV in what they say, how they interact with each other but also in how they look, their clothes, their hair, their makeup. And I do think that through these choices, if we spend some time looking at the choices that they're making and how the choices are changing over the years, then we might get some really interesting insight into who these people are. I think if we look at Robin's hair and makeup and her clothes over the years, we can start to understand maybe how she sees herself on the show how she wants to see herself on the show, how she wants to be presented. We might even learn a little bit about how the rest of the family sees her. And so like, those are interesting questions that I definitely wanna talk about with you. Okay, just to lay the foundation for what I guess is an argument, I'm gonna start with this Instagram post that Christine made in January of 2021, I believe. In it, she's doing her hair. Well, actually she has one video that I'm gonna share where she's doing her makeup and then a separate video where she's doing her hair. My technology skills are not great. I'm not certain that you're gonna be able to see the caption, so I'll read it to you. It says, yep, we put on our own makeup for the set. Here's my amateur makeup skills. And then she has a video of her doing makeup and she has a separate post where she shows us that she's doing her own hair for the show. This is important because it lets us know that, yeah, all the sister wives, Cody, everybody who's on the show, they do their own hair, they do their own makeup, and presumably they choose their own clothes. So they're in control of these decisions. So with that piece of information solidified, confirmed, let's start our journey into understanding the decisions that Robin's making and maybe why she's making them by looking at the first time that we meet Robin on the show. Season one, episode one, she shows up in I think maybe like the last 10 minutes of that first episode. And just take a look at it and then we'll talk about this scene a little bit more. Cody's my soulmate. <laughs> I love him. How's it going? Okay, we have some things to talk about and uh, I don't know, should I apologize? I might take this a little farther than you wanna go, but just come along with me and see if you agree. As always, let me know in the comments what you're thinking. Okay, I think it matters the way that the show introduced Robin to us. Did you notice that in that first scene, she is positioned in between a picture of Jesus Christ on her calendar <laughs> and a reflection of herself in her bathroom mirror. Now, to me, this is important because it's setting her apart from the other wives. Robin is presented as someone who is interested in her appearance. She is getting ready. She is trying to look beautiful for her man. That is not how any of the other wives were introduced to us. Keep in mind that in a production, they can make any choice. Robin could have been seen as a homemaker, uh, at the sink, washing the dishes, waiting for Cody to arrive. She could have been presented as a great mother, sitting on the couch, uh, reading books with her kids, waiting for Cody to arrive. There was a choice that was made. Probably she was actually ready at that moment. She was not literally getting ready, but they put her there and they, I think, wanted to present her as a, a very separate, different kind of woman than the rest of the wives were. Compare this, I hate to do it, but we have to do it. Compare this to how Christine was introduced to us. This is my wife, Christine. Hi. Good Should we introduce her? Yes. yes. This is Truly, our little girl soon to come. Truly is actually going to be number 13. You'll see the first time that we meet Christine, she is obviously very pregnant. There was no way around that. Production couldn't make a choice about that, but she's very pregnant. She has kids like just swarming around her. She is introduced as the mother and that's her, that continues to be her role on the show like forever. <laughs> I'm gonna show you one more clip from season one. I think this is episode two. And once again, they show us Robin in the bathroom getting ready. Cody's been 
put through it with Mary and Christine and Janelle, and they've said, you, you know, they're gonna, they made him a good man. And I want to say thank you to each one of them. To me, this is important because they are, they continue to just show her as like someone who is aware of her appearance, someone who is, um, working on her appearance and someone who values like how she shows up when Cody's around. All right, before we move to looking at the next scene, I just want to be very clear that number one, production does keep uh, like showing her as someone who is interested in and aware of her appearance. But I think also is showing us like she is interested in and aware of her appearance. And that matters for where we're going next. And Robin, um, they got engaged and everything. I thought, oh, that's nice. They're engaged now. So now it's more official. Like a month later, I found out that Cody still the engagement with a kiss. He had kissed Robin. Was, it was devastating. Now, do you feel the same way that I do? Robin was kind of introduced to us as the villain. And part of that was her appearance. The way that they separated her from the other wives and the fact that she always like was working on being beautiful. They were going on dates. She was living a very different life from Christine's life. Um, and we had to kind of grapple with that because we saw Christine really struggling with that. And so what I think is possible, I don't know y'all, I don't know Robin, we're just having fun here, <laughs> um, is that Robin's like kind of unique makeup style nowadays, hair, clothes, are an attempt to distance herself from this narrative. And I only will say that because she does not make those same choices when she's off the show. When people see her out in the mall, dancing in the clubs with Cody, she's not dressed the way she dresses on the show. When I was thinking about having this conversation with you, I was hoping that I could find like, oh, this is the moment. This is the moment where her hair really just changes or her makeup changes or her clothing style changes. But the, honestly, what I saw, her transformation is more gradual and it almost it just gets more intense season by season to this point now where we're at season 17. It would make it so that he doesn't love them any less or like that, but I mean, it would be hard. This is final. It's final? It's done. A sucker's done, huh? Yeah. Just Janelle's. We just moved to Vegas and we all hated it. Didn't but, we? You know, she wanted to have relationships with those that she doesn't have relationships with. I meant me and my kids. Of course, you have to acknowledge, we have to acknowledge, every season we're all getting older. <laughs> Robin's getting older, all of us are getting older. Um, but I do just think Robin and I are similarly aged and I know that she started out very fashionable, trendy, whatever, current. And this shift is so intense that it does not seem just like just a part of getting older. Was it um, the tell-all or the reunion in season 16, I think where she talked about um, talking to her mom about how the, everything is always, she's always being blamed for everything. And so she is aware that she is being blamed for stuff. And I, it just seems possible to me that she's trying to distance herself from some of the guilt that she might be feeling. Okay, just to like further invest in this eyebrow conversation, let's look at season 10. I think it's season 10, episode nine. The whole family is on vacation in Hawaii and Mary is orchestrating a, like a prank on her child where she's gonna draw super thick eyebrows on herself, on Janelle, and I think on Aurora too. So take a look at this. Do you want blonde or mm, you must have dyed yours? I always do. Big. Gotcha, Mark's thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll double dog dare you to wear them today until we get in the water. There's no way in hell. <laughs> you know, I let Mary put my eyebrows on and she put on Brianna's and I had to do Mary's and she's like, wait, 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 I'm going to do my own. I'm like, oh. <laughs> okay, now what are the chances that there would be an episode on this show where they're all sitting together laughing about really thick eyebrows? What are the chances, okay? To me, this is important because number one, they've all sat around and laughed about it. They've all, number two, they've all sat around and laughed about it on TV. And number three, they're all aware then that thick eyebrows are a joke. Okay, so if you're a sister wife and you see your sister wife making really thick eyebrows and they are aware, right, of the conversation that we are having out in the world about what choices they're making. Either the sister wives are not looking out for each other, which of course they're not, we know that, <laughs> but they're not looking out for each other because no one is telling, no one is pulling Robin to the side and saying, 
uh, you might want to, you know, pull back a little bit. Or number two, Robin is being really indignant about it. And even though she sees the comments or is getting the feedback, she is still insisting on doing this. Okay, now this brings us to present day, as present as it gets on Sister Wives, season 17, episode 13. Robin is struggling with COVID and a very observant watcher pointed out that in this scene, her eyebrows are not painted on in the same way that they typically are when she's on the show. And this is important to notice because number one, she does not have tattooed eyebrows like some people have said maybe she does. Number two, she is making the choice every time she's on camera to do her eyebrows in the way that she's been doing it. And of course, you're not going to choose to do your makeup when you're going to the hospital. <laughs> like that's not the priority. I get that. Um, but she's not making those choices when she's out just socially having fun with Cody. She looks different. Even though these are taken around the same time that she is showing up on set with uh, that intense hair and makeup and old wardrobe, this is how she looks when she's out. Okay, I think this is enough for me. This is definitely the longest video about Sister Wives I have ever made. And it's all in fun. This is all in fun. Uh, you know, we've had this conversation, but the truth, truth be told, it might just be that Robin's tastes have changed over the years. But personally, barring some confirmation from the source herself, I do think that this is an attempt to distance herself from kind of the villain, uh, you know, siren, whatever kind of position that she was in in the beginning of the show. And I think she's tired of being blamed and she doesn't want to look like that threatening uh, person that she was presented as in the beginning. Just a thought. These are just a thought. Either way, thank you so much for being here. As always, let me know what are your thoughts. What do you think any of this means? Why is she doing her makeup like this? Why, she, why does she do her hair like this? It's different. It's different and it has meaning and it's a choice. All right. So even if we don't get to talk in the comments, hopefully we will get to see each other again here very soon. My guess is there's going to be more for us to talk about when it comes to Cody and the Sister Wives. All right. Take care. Bye.